heck of a game. Uh, you know, congrats to Coach Rosine and his staff and team for an incredible year. Like we played those guys like 12,000 times in the past two years, and it's always tough battles, hard nosed basketball, and, and we have nothing but the utmost respect for those guys. So, you know, today I thought was nothing different. Um, really, really proud of our group for withstanding their run in the second half and coming back with run after run of our own to push the lead up. Thought we were tough on defense. Uh, these two guys made big shots and big plays for us. Uh, just really proud of our team's effort uh, and resilience in the second half and, and just really proud of this group. Another efficient night, 61% from the field, 58% from three, and, and another balanced offensive performance. Is this just kind of you guys imposing your will on whoever's on the other side of the court? I, I think a little bit, you know, good players make a coach look really good, and I'm very fortunate to have a lot of good players in that locker room that believe in each other, believe in this program, and believe in what we're doing. And, and so, um, you know, I think that's what we talk about offensively. We want to play at our pace. And at times, I think we got slowed down, uh, but they kept picking it up, and our defense is the key to that. If we can get stops and we can get out and go, um, we think we can play with anybody. It was kind of Quest's night yesterday. It was your night tonight. Uh, is this just another next man up kind of situation? Uh, I mean, I would, yeah, I would say that kind of. Uh, everybody's good on our team. Uh, I just, my teammates find me in the right places, you know, communicating shots to get to my spot. You know. And Sean, coach kind of mentioned it. They would make a run, and you guys were able to withstand that and keep that lead about 10. And then finally, something clicked. You guys locked down on defense mainly. What what was the change there with about seven minutes to go allowed you guys to win comfortably? Just knowing they're a good team, you know what I'm saying? We we can't slip up. Our focus always has to be there throughout the entire 40 minutes. Um, and we came in with that mindset during this conference tournament, you know, like we just try to stay locked in for the whole time. And, I, and we have a good feel of like when to flip the switch. And I think uh, in the second half of about like eight to nine minutes, we – talked in the timeout, media timeout, and we were like, guys, let's get it. Let's lock in. Lock in on defense, and that's exactly what happened. It's always emotional and, and intense when you get to this time of the year. How nice is it to have a guy like Sean, a veteran leader out there, uh, to kind of control some of that? Absolutely. I, I thought, you know, really that switch that flipped was him down the stretch, just got to the basket. He made good decisions. He found his teammates, or he scored it, got to the foul line. Um, you know, to have a senior coach on the floor is always a good thing. And LJ McCoy, too, who's uh, been phenomenal defensively for us all year. Um, you know, and, and just, I mean, this is our third year in a row in, in this position. So we have experience um, and, and we've <laughs> dug deep in the well tonight um, to, to make sure we were ready and could withstand that. And, and just really proud of this group and, you know, kind of the old philosophy of job's not done yet, but we're excited about this one. They got us twice. And we'll look forward to uh, getting a chance to uh, not go 0-3 tomorrow against the, uh, the Braves. I love you, Daddy. <laughs> I love you too, buddy. Well, guys, congratulations. You're playing for a championship tomorrow. Thanks. Thanks. Go Crusaders. Go Crusaders. Go Crusaders. <laughs> <laughs>